Hi everyone, my name is Pia Cortez and we are here at buymeacoffee.com and I wanted to show you this page that we're looking at, which is the homepage for Buy Me A Coffee. It has a really cool feature here where you can see the creator of the day and you can go ahead and see all the other creators based on different categories. I will show you how you can do this um, on your own and be able to tag yourself and also add a bio so that people can really see what you're doing. Buy Me A Coffee is a modern platform for all creators where you are able to build an audience and get support from your audience in a bunch of different ways. How do you create a buymeacoffee.com account or a page? Um, it's really easy and we've outlined this in three different steps. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and create a buymeacoffee.com page. And from here, we'll be able to see and start creating. So one, start a page. Give your audience a way to thank you, support you. You can also, you know, um, customize this and really, you know, um, spread the word, uh, tell your friends and your family. You can offer extras. This is something that's really cool and that's coming up, but it's this is totally optional. And once you have set up your page, you can share it with everyone and get your custom link here. So for myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to claim, buy me a coffee, a life of creating and hopefully that's available so there you go so I'm gonna go ahead and start my page and click right here I'm gonna sign up with email and I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and yes I'm a creator but you know if you are here to support creators you can also create your own account so I have my BMC link here and I've claimed that. Perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that I will be able to verify my email and um, I'll just add the code that I was sent. And from here, we are now all set. So the next step is just to make sure that you need to set up a payment payout method. So this is how you will get paid. When you share your link to other uh, to other people, to your fans, to your audience, they'll be able to send you uh, money or support uh, through these two payment um, processors. You can also choose um, what currency to use. And right now we have USD, Australian dollar, Canadian euro, the pound and the New Zealand dollar available, but we're constantly working on adding more currencies as they're available. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, I finally set up my uh, payout method. And once you've done that, you're just gonna log back into your account. And what you're gonna do is you'll be able to further customize your Buy Me A Coffee page. Right now, what we're looking at is your dashboard and it has all these different um, steps right here where you can uh, toggle and figure out, you know, what you really want to do. So for your overview page, this shows you your earnings, how many visitors you have, and you can choose to see that per week or per month. Um, there's also a space here where you're able to really share your page to different social media platforms and your link over here. If you have a blog or um, a newsletter, you're also able to create a widget or add a button so that you can, you know, further promote your Buy Me A Coffee page to your fans and your audience. And, you know, if you want to get more information, if you're curious about um, how Buy Me A Coffee works, what features we're coming up with, or if you want to um, request a feature yourself, you can do that here. We also have a great creator community where you can discuss you know different things with other creators uh, within buy me a coffee and i highly recommend that you join us over there so um once you have you've checked out your overview page you can go and check out extras as well you've hovered over to the extras page i wanted to spend a little time talking about this new feature that the buy me a coffee team has been working really hard to put together so over here we have um, different ways that you can really diversify and enhance your creative practice. Basically, extras are an effective and fun way to offer something to your fans. It can be in the form of Zoom event tickets, which has been really popular um, with so many being quarantined under lockdown or shelter in place. It can be eBooks, one-on-one -on -one consultation, art commissions, 
um, giving access to people on their Instagram, close friends and other exclusives. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do eBooks. So um, I already have some information um, outlined here, but basically this is where you can customize your offering. So I'm going to do um, an eBook on how to create a writing practice and price it at $20. And you can totally change this price, update the title. And over here, you can see a preview of how it's going to look like on your page. Add a little description. Um, and this also um, was updated. And you can customize your confirmation message here. Um, we can make sure to add the link here if it's an ebook. Um, choose an image to make it look good and you know other optional things so um, i'm going to go ahead and add this extra so now i can see that um, it's live um, and you know you can begin to promote this along with your uh, bmc page on the other tab you can see how many people have claimed it go ahead and click that <clears throat> And um, yeah, so this is just a fun way to really, you know, showcase like different parts of your practice. You've checked out our, um, uh, the preview of how our post would look like on our Buy Me Coffee page. I went back to the dashboard and, you know, so I can continue um, adding more features. Um, but basically, this is how it will look like once you have posted something and it will show all the different posts that you have. Um, that you can always edit or delete. If you're a visual creator, by the way, you also have an option of adding an album, and I highly suggest doing that. So now let's go ahead to our supporters. And here you'll see you know, information about your supporters, if you have any, and once you're able to. Um, you can go to your settings and also adjust a different uh, number of things for your, for your page. So for example, um, you can change the default price of your coffee to an amount of your choice. Um, you can even choose to display your supporter account, but you can also opt not to. Um, you can customize the message that you send for people who give you payments. And um, you can even have a goal here. Um, and you'll be able to see how your progress is once you have that. Um, this is really great if you're fundraising or if you're um, trying to get donations for a specific project, a specific um, tool or gadget that you want um, to aid your creative practice. Uh, but for now, um, I won't um, activate that. And I guess I just wanted to show you how it looks like from here. The next one is members. So this is different from supporters. Supporters are those who give you one-time payments. And members, on the other hand, are those who are um, monthly or yearly uh, supporters of yours, which we'll call as members. We have a video dedicated for memberships. So um, I'm going to uh, add that link here so that you can check it out. But it's something that you should really think about activating as you know as you get on with your um, buy me a coffee page. So the last thing that I wanted to show you is settings. So you can toggle over that on this um, tab right here. And here you're basically able to see how, you know, the back end things of how your buy me a coffee page runs. Um, I've activated um, a payment method through Stripe and I have an option to do that via PayPal as well. Um, I've covered the credit card fee. I, you can turn that off or you can turn it back on. Um, I have my currency as a uh, US dollar. My personal link here uh, is here and I have the options of updating it too. Um, if your content is NSFW, you can choose to display that as well. If you have Google Analytics, um, you can go ahead and add your UA number. And if I want to set a new password, I can also do that here. Um, so for notifications, I wanted to see um, if, you know, if I every time someone supports me, I want to be able to get a notification around that. Or if every um, subscriber that I receive, um, I also want to get a notification about that. 
and I'm going to go ahead and about toggle to account. So this is basically everything that I need to just, you know, country, time zone. I haven't set that up yet, um, but my email. Um, so yeah, basically um, the back end things, this is where you're going to go. So now let's go to our page where we have a few, um, less few more things that we want to update. So after I've clicked my uh, view my page on my dashboard, it will bring me to my buy me a coffee public page. And here I'll have the option of further um, customizing my page because I'm still missing a lot of different things. So I want to add a bio line here and I want to update my name. Um, I want to change, um, you know, instead of coffee, I want to change it to something else. And that's something that I really love as a feature. And I also want to update, you know, my story here in the description of why I'm having, um, you know, why I created my Buy Me a Coffee page to begin with. You can see that the pinned post that I created earlier is here. So I'm going to keep that here. And for other posts, you can go ahead and toggle over here. So let's go ahead and edit our page. So I'm going to change my name over here. Um, you can also change your photo here, but I'll do that a little later. Um, answer the question, what are you creating? So this is your bio line. So I'm going to add um, documenting my creative process. So this is how it's going to look like. Um, and it will update my name later on. Make sure that you also choose relevant categories so that other people can find you. Um, so I'm going to put <clears throat> writing here, creativity. And I'll also add the creative process since I saw it. I'll add newsletter and any other, um, I'll just put earth. Um, you can have a featured image or video too. And here you can share your story. And really, over here, make sure you flex what you got. Um, you can add relevant websites here, whether it's your website, social media platforms. Um, here, you can replace coffee with anything you like. So I want croissant. So I'm going to put croissant right here. And I want to choose this color. For sharing style, I'm going to keep it to the classy, but you can also choose the playful option. So go ahead and click save. And now it's updated. So this is your customized Buy Me A Coffee page, and I love how it's looking. But I'll add a photo um, a little later and maybe add some more posts so that, you know, it'll give my... Um, my followers and my audience a chance to really support my work. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at support at buymeacoffee.com. Um, also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook at buymeacoffee.